This is my uh, Asus uh, all-in-one uh, Windows computer and uh, unfortunately it has a very small uh, disk drive, it's uh, a 128 uh, uh, gig SSD. It also got a regular uh, one terabyte uh, hard drive but since the operating system is installed on the SSD I constantly run out of uh, available disk space, as you can see. So I bought this uh, replacement 480 GB uh, SSD M2 disk, which I'm going to uh, replace with the one in the computer. So let me start by uh, opening the machine. Normally uh, replacing a hard drive on a PC isn't that a big deal, but since this is an all-in-one computer, it isn't really serviceable. So you are not meant to do anything yourself. The first problem is that there are no visible screws. Um, the screws are hidden underneath this plastic uh, uh, here and uh, you have to remove this one in order to get to the screws and it is glued to the computer. To get the plastic cover off you need to use heat and uh, I have a heat gun here. You can also use a hairdryer. Just be careful not to overheat the plastic, it might uh, melt or bulge there. So after heating up the plastic, I just gently lift it up and I use a plastic uh, spudger to, to carefully remove it. Try not to bend uh, this plastic cover because uh, it will look ugly when you put it back together again. So after removing the cover you see uh, seven screws uh, here. So just start by removing those. Now the next challenge is to remove the screen from the metal frame. Uh, for this you need a couple of uh, plastic uh, spurgers or uh, anything uh, non-metal to start with. Unless you want to scratch up the metal. Okay, now the whole screen is uh, loose. So now I turn the machine around and lift the screen from the top side. Then just let the screen rest uh, behind the machine. Okay, now the machine is open and we can see the different parts. This is the motherboard and uh, this is the regular one terabyte uh, hard drive fan. Now we just need to locate uh, where the solid state uh, disk is. In order to, to get to the solid state drive, uh, 
we have to remove the motherboard uh, to get access to the other side. So I just uh, start by removing all the screws. Then unfold some of the tape here and uh, you can remove this uh, card here, which I think is maybe the Wi-Fi. Then I just uh, remove this uh, flat cable here, which goes to the screen. Next, I remove these screws where the cooling is uh, uh, connected to the metal frame. Then I remove the remaining connectors. Uh, These have a little different connector, so you just lift up the plastic in front like this. And then you can pull out the cable. Last one. Now I remove this cable here, which I have to lift up this lid. Then remove. And this one. So now you should be able to uh, remove the motherboard completely and turning it around. So the solid state drive I'm going to uh, replace is this one. Um, which is an M2 uh, type that uh, are fitted directly onto the motherboard. So this is a 128 gigabyte uh, M2 SSD disk, which is uh, way too small for a modern computer with Windows 10. And this is the new 480 gigabyte, uh, which uh, will be enough for my use. Then I just rem remove the metal cover from the drive, uh, which is just uh, glued on with this uh, tape here and then uh, don't put it onto the new drive yet. First uh, attach the drive to its uh, connector like this. Then I take the double sided tape from the old disc. Then you put the shield back uh, where it fits the screw holes.
Okay, the machine has a new solid state drive and now we, we just need to assemble everything. Just remember to put all the cables and connectors uh, back together. Okay, now all the cables are in place, so just Put the screws back into the motherboard. So that's it, just uh, put the screen uh, in place and uh, test if it works. The screen will fit uh, right into the slot. Then just screw the screen to the back frame. Seven screws. Finally, it's to put the plastic cover in place and uh, I think the, the glue will uh, hold, uh, the old glue will hold as it is without any additional tape or glue. Okay, so let's test the computer, see if it starts up. The new disk is of course empty and need to be formatted and I also have to install uh, the operating system. I have prepared a bootable USB flash drive here. So now it boots from the flash drive. Then I'm ready to uh, install Windows 10. Okay, so uh, my machine is now up and running and it now has a much larger disk, which is uh, very helpful. So uh, with that, I say thank you for watching. I hope this was uh, helpful and uh, see you in another video. Bye bye.